You know, I just played a show out in uh, Oklahoma. This goes out to um, all you cats out in Oklahoma. Some good old rhythm and blues. Dwight's the man. Very talented. His band's amazing. Great voice. Great songwriter. And this also goes out to my mom and dad, by the way. All right, who's seeing Dwight very soon. Standard tuning for this. Um, there are a couple guitar parts. I tried to combine a few together. Um, on the intro here, we've got... And obviously I'm on the clean channel, a little bit of reverb. Open D, and then two open A. So, and then third fret low E, do two half step bends. And then hit an open E. So it's just pentatonic scale stuff. As that open E is ringing, this is big and blues. You're going to go 2G, middle finger, slide to 4. Leave it ringing as you place your first finger on the 3rd fret B. Make sure that this knuckle isn't angled or it'll mute this out. you got to have a downward angle at it. So once you get there, you'll hit the 3B twice. And you're going to do that slide up to that twice. Okay, so... E ringing. Now I'm going to do the 4th fret G, it's a gliss slide, real quick, you don't really hear the start of it. And you're going to slide to 2 and pull off to open, so a lot of technique there. And then pick 2 open, pick the 2 D, and then open G and B. And I would catch that with an up strum. Now the main groove kicks in, and it's pretty consistent for the most part. Um, open E, 4A, so it'll go open E, 4A, open E, 2D. Now I would, my, it's not a bad idea to bar the second fret on the A and D string, you'll see why. Because we're doing open 4 on the E, A, and then open 2 on the E, D. So, back to the open E, and then go 2A, hammer on to the fourth fret. Remember a hammer on is a picked initial note. Picture a hammer coming down on something to to achieve the note. So hard pressure under the 4A and then we can hit the 2D. It's a triplet in there so if you bar it rather than have to go you can have everything situated without much finger movement. Okay so that's gonna go seven times and 
And your fourth or your eighth one is open E four A, open E five A. So and then open A, four A, five A. That sounds like this. It's blues, is what that is. So now we're gonna drop down to the A and D and the G. Do the same initial riff that you started with, not the. I'm talking about this. The. That's gonna go three times. Open A, 4D, open A, 2G, open A, 2D. So once again, if we bar the D and G, we're ready for the 2D, hammer four, and then the picked 2G. That's four times. Then you're right back to the first one you did. Okay, one time. And then uh, this one's altered. It's open 4 EA, open 5 EA, open 4 A to 2 A. So it's not like this. So there's lots of different counter or different rhythms in here that you've, you're probably familiar with that you've heard. You know what I mean? We've all heard it. So um, that's just a, we got like three variations. And then you're starting over from this, but it's f um, three times. Then this one. So take the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth one, like we did at the beginning, apply that here. It's just shorter. And then when we go to the A, D, and G string, that's all the same stuff. Okay, and then you're back to the E and A again. Two times. Then we're going to play a B major. Um, I'll give you a shortcut, but I'll show you the way Dwight's actually doing it. It's 2A, and then 4th fret, D, G, and B. I like to bar that stuff with this. Uh, I know that's difficult if you haven't done it. But you can get uh, the work of four fingers with two. That's a B major. So you'll strum those four, and then you're back to the beginning. By beginning, I mean the rhythm part. Back to that part, right? Um, and that'll, the whole process starts over. Um, the only other new change you'll find, because it goes between the E, A, D, and the E, A, D, E, D, and G, is um, you're going to wind up on the A string doing the just two times. And you'll hear a, actually it's a second guitar. It's not the primary rhythm doing it. He has a couple guitar players, and even if you don't in the studio, you can stack as many as you want. But I want to show you these little riffs. So. It's 2B, 3E. I would use these, the middle and third, because you can use your index to help bend it. And just hit it three times and bend a little bit. As you're going, and then open E and B. Then 2G middle, slide to 4, leave it there, pick the 3B, and the open E. So that's kind of like the very intro we did, where we went, right? But it's different. Then you're back into the the main groove there on the A, D, and G, two times, and this time grab the open E, let it ring, and this is a, a Hendrix thing, pick the open D, and do a series of fast hammer pulls, some people like to call it trills, but I'm only picking the initial, and I'd rather you not have to count them, try to get it by feel, but in reality it's about six times so and it sounds to me like an upwards rake it's not a big deal but 
it could be tough to do. It's not a big deal if you don't play it though. I'm muting all the strings and, and raking up to get these mutes till, and I relieve the pressure and, and then apply it on 3E. So, and then so you're gonna pick it, bend it a slight amount, and then open E. Go back to your main groove, A, D, G. And then the last uh, fill-in guitar is this. Which is two on the G and B. I would use middle and third. You can experiment. You can back the middle with the index to help bend if you want, but we're bending both. Once you bend it up about a half step, pick them, bring them down and then go open G 2B. You're already on the 2B, right? So... And then that Hendrix uh, hammer pulls again on open 2D. So... Or wait. And then to finish this off, second fret E, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or technically in music, those are sixteenth notes. You'd go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And this next riff goes. Or, so two A, four A slide to six, four D, six five A, and then. 4 slide to 6 on the A to 4 D. Do that twice. So it's Stuff's a little tricky. There's a lot of techniques. And then this is tough too. You'll go 6 A, slide to 4, pull off to 2. So we got to have a secondary finger for that pull off available. So use these fingers. It's so a whole step descending slide, pulling off to two, and then pick four two. So, so. Change my tone. Get you through a good chunk of it right there all right so there you go with some dwight we're mixing it up i know i've done a lot of rock metal for the past couple months and this channel is all styles and actually i thank my dad for that because he uh had me listening to dwight the other other night and i like dwight yokum i like everything i like anything that 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 comes from someone's heart you know i feel like uh someone that's put their heart and soul and their passion into something that if you're open-minded as a musician you can be like a sponge and absorb this stuff so add me on facebook because i do um do the facebook live feeds now ever since i played that striper show and you guys have been wanting me to so definitely facebook instagram pitter and twin twi tw i was gonna say twin twist uh pinterest but facebook would be the if you had to pick one i'd tell you to pick that one more importantly, subscribe to this channel. If you're a subscriber, keep your requests coming. I do all styles, rock, country, blues, classical, funk. It doesn't matter, pop. And I even do stuff that's not even written on guitar. Transpose it to guitar for you. So if it's got a musical pitch, I can get it for you. All right, so um, if you're interested in private lessons on Skype for guitar, bass, or vocals, hit me up, rockandguitarlessons at hotmail.com. And on, also check into my Skype or not my Skype, but my CVT and CT lessons. It's custom behind the scenes lessons that I do. You uh, let me know, send me the link, and if uh, you want the whole song with the solo or without the solo, they're custom. And I'll get you a price quote on that. I do CVT minis, which is just parts of songs. And recently I added priority prepaid. So um, having 115,000 subscribers, you can imagine the amount of requests that I get for these free lessons. If you want cuts, the fast pass, like at Disneyland, um, email me the song you want, and I don't do the whole song, but it's a good chunk of it, like I do on my channel, and uh, you can get priority on your request for that. All right. Till next time, I'm Mike Gross. Keep rocking. What pickup should I use here? Should I change it up? I don't know.
I will, just because. Now I'm using my neck pickup instead of my bridge. You're gonna hear a little more bassy end on it. Thank you. 